Hi everyone, it's Dan from the Noise Sector. This is my section of the hobby vlog. Hopefully we're going to inspire everyone to paint more models, put more stuff on the table, and get really excited about their hobby. Not to be outdone by Asher, he and I are now going pound for pound, one on one. He makes a video, I make a video, and hopefully this should get all you guys started and ready to do all sorts of crazy hobby stuff. So, let's take a look at what's on my bench today. So here we have my somewhat chaotic paint desk. You'll see that I've got my bolt action armored fury waiting around, ready to be worked on. There's some Germans in there. I have a T7, which is hiding. I have a test of honor Ronin set, which I've definitely opened and definitely gone through and definitely looked at and loved the models, but haven't actually gotten around to building or painting yet. And here we have my busy, busy paint set. Super heavy with scale 75s. I've just recently purchased the scale 75 elven colors set, which I'm using to do ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba a lovely outcast gar in winter camo. So that's some cool stuff I'm working on. I also have a 750 point gar list. So that's some stuff on my desk. Let's move on. And on my editing desk, I'm currently working on a test of honor battle report. So that's another thing I got going on. It's pretty cool. Today, I'm here to talk to you about something special. I'm here to talk to you about monkey business. So get ready and check out these cool images. So these are my pan simians, which were originally part of the Antares law, but didn't quite make it to the most current edition. I made these because I wanted to do a really big conversion project and I also wanted to frustrate Justin Shearer because he doesn't think they're cool. I beg to differ. So these were based on the Warlord Savage Core Simeon's range, which is a series of pretty static models that are nice single one cast, no assembly, really, really straightforward, just monkeys. I did a lot of really heavy conversion on these guys to get them to an Antares sort of level of science fiction. So they're mostly parts from the C3 Strike Squad, but there's little bits in there, pieces from drones, there's a battered drone and some shield drone bits in there as well. So just to start off, here's my monkey, not really sci-fi at all. So I clip off the arms and pin them down, add a little bit of green stuff and some rods for support. And then I put in the C3 plasma carbine and the captain's hand waving forward. I spent some time with some green stuff, just sculpting on some little pantaloons and some spacesuit action. And I gave him like a little collar as well to make him look like he was you know, in a battle suit or something. And I also added some grills and some vents just around the joints to clean those up and make them more science fiction-y. I also constructed a backplate and an armor guard out of spare drone bits and green stuffing those on and adding some extra knee pads just to fatten that up. And there's the finished product. Second guy, same story, starting with just the basic Savage Core Simeon model. Carving off the arms and putting on some C3 bits. Again, adding some drone parts for the chest plate and the back plate. Just expanding the black plate with more bits and pieces to make it look a bit fatter, like it's giving him a rebreather or something. Sculpting on some little pants with some nice grills in them and just evening out the joins. And the final product, once again. This next dude was my favorite guy. I used a few more gar bits on him. He's got a little chest plate, which is again based on a C3 chest plate that's been smoothed out and extended. And there's, I think, the top of a gar grabber or assault weapon, which has been turned into some kind of funky hat, which I think's really worked. He's got the knee pads as well and the grills. And again, the sculpting, the sculpting. And there's him finished up. I like the, the movement in that model. He's ready to pounce. I really like this guy as well. He also got the gar treatment, like straight in with the plasma gun. Looks great. The little chest plate for him, I believe, is actually a gar face, which has been turned into sort of a some kind of box with dials and LEDs and stuff on it. It looks pretty cool. I really like him as well. And the captain, I used the Simeon Alpha, which I thought was a suitable model. And I've put a, I believe it's a batter drone, it might be a shield drone on the head. And it just makes him look like he's more commanding, like he has some kind of tactical ops headset going on. And his chest plate's quite detailed. I've managed to sculpt some extra grills onto it. And I've had little bits of servos and other embellishments like pipes and so forth and he looks really statuesque on the battlefield like he's ready to kick heads and here's the whole group they're pretty rad it's an excellent conversion project i'm really proud of these guys 
Nominally, I usually play them as a C3 command squad because I figure that's the best sort of fit and that's also the faction I play. But if you wanted to go nuts, you could probably do a whole group of them and play them as Gar outcasts or something if you wanted to go really nuts. But that's the fit that's really worked for me. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments or questions or queries, put them below or post your own images or your own ideas or your own videos of stuff you're working on. Make sure that you like us on Facebook or on YouTube and you always communicate with us if you want to see more of something or less of something else. Thanks and have a good hobby and Asher, next one's on you.